hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this dynamic text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always let's create a new composition and I'll call it as text strip this time and width is 1920 and height is 200 frame rate is 30 duration is also 30 seconds and background color is black color and simply hit ok so we will get this kind of composition then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles affection then i'm going to select this text tool and i'll type my first text for the font i'm going to choose poppins font and over here for the color i'm going to choose black color and over here i'm going to choose stroke which is a white color and stroke width i'm going to choose four pixels like this and distance between the alphabet should be minus 50 like this and we will type our first text i'm going to type pull like this let's select this text let's decrease this distance let's say up to zero and decrease the font size a little bit like this now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and go to the character menu and click on this all caps options like this then select your selection tool and let's move this text over here like this now let's go inside this text go to the animate and i'm going to choose position and bring this position totally up to downwards like this and go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit go to around 1.20 frames and let's make this total 100 like this and select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation okay now select this text and hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v for selection tool and let's move this text over here hit ctrl t to select your text tool and type text which is text select this and let's move this over here like this okay again go to the text and animator one inside this and hit u also let's delete those keyframe we don't need the keyframe on the start and let's go again inside this text and in position property i'm going to move this let's make this start value zero initially and let's move this position value up to here like this create one keyframe at the end go over here and let's make this zero okay select those keyframe and hit f9 now hit u so we can see both the keyframes select those keyframe and make sure to hit f9 again go to the graph editor we will select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay and if you think the animation is fast by holding alt you can increase the duration of this animation also so we will get this kind of animation okay now uh, let's go to this keyframe i'll select both the text i'll press p for position and i'll create one keyframe over here go somewhere around over here select this text by holding shift let's move this from here to here select this cool text and by holding shift we will move this from here to here select both the keyframes and hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation okay now after that i am going to select my rectangle tool and i will create one shape like this ok select this shape layer hit enter and let's call this text as mask and hit ok and select this text and i am going to choose alpha inverted mask select this mask hit ctrl d and let's bring this over here select this cool text and choose alpha mask ok and hit u so we can see both the keyframes and we will get this kind of animation if you want then you can move this last keyframe up to 4 seconds so first we will get this animation and then we will get this animation ok so this is for this now hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre comp this i will call it as text animation and hit ok 
hit control D again and again so and create five copies of each select the last layer go to the effect and presets and search for fill effect and double click to apply and make sure this is in red color select the fourth layer double click to apply go over here and choose green color and hit ok select the third layer apply fill effect again and choose blue color and hit ok select the second layer go to the effect and presets and apply find edge effect and double click to apply and invert this okay now zoom in a little bit go to around let's say 5 frames select this move this over here go to 10 frames select this move this over here move this over here and move this over here so if you hit play now we will get this kind of animation like this okay and if you want then you can uh, move this i mean remove this second layer also and so you can simply select this first layer and move this over here so we will get this kind of animation now select all the remaining layers and choose screen mode on for them so we will get this kind of animation for this text okay so our text strip is ready now hit ctrl n to create another composition i'll call it as main animation and height i'm going to choose 1080 and simply hit ok now let's go inside this text strip and i'll press ctrl y and i'll create some solid background and for that i'm going to choose red color this is only for our reference let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to open our my project window i'll select this text strip comp and i'll simply move this over here press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this or i think we don't need to scale it up and simply hit ctrl d to duplicate it by holding ctrl i am going to move this over here so it will automatically snap at the edge again hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and like this now select this layer and hit ctrl d select this fourth layer and by holding ctrl i'll snap this properly at the edge select this fourth layer hit ctrl d select this fifth layer and by holding ctrl sorry uh, by holding ctrl i'm gonna snap it at the edge now let's go inside this text strips and we will delete this hit solid and if you hit play over here we will get this kind of animation over here but we don't want all of them to animate at the start so let's go to the five, fifth frame i'll select this second and third layer fourth layer and move them over here go to 10 frames select all of the remaining layers and move this over here so now if you hit play this animation we will get this kind of animation now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final text animation and hit ok now press ctrl y to create one solid background and go to the effect and presets or instead of that let's select this and press ctrl shift c and move all attributes into the new composition and i'll call it as map and simply hit ok double click to open this composition select this layer press ctrl shift y to open the solid settings and i'm going to choose black color for this and hit ok and hit ok like this now select this rectangle and simply create this kind of rectangle over here and press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the effect and presets panel and apply gaussian blur effect on it so simply double click to apply and increase the blurriness to 700 okay right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect and simply double click to apply so we will get this kind of lines go to the main animation and let's hide this map select this final animation comp and apply time displacement effect on it like this and i'm going to choose this map over here so now if you hit play we will get this kind of animation for this text okay and simply double click to open this select all of them and let's move them a little bit forward and let's move this to up to 10 frames like this okay let's close all of this stuff and now if you see we will get this kind of animation okay now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one 
select this null one press p alt click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle and type 3 comma 3 so along with this animation we will get a little bit of wiggle animation also okay now after that press ctrl y to create one solid bg i'll call it as bg only and let's move this over here go to the effect and presets panel and apply fractal noise effect on it increase that contrast too much uh, let's say up to 1400 and decrease the brightness of negative value like this okay if you want increase the contrast to even 2000 also and decrease the brightness like this okay and alt click on this evolution tab and type time into let's say 500 so we will get this kind of thing over here for this background hit n over here like this okay now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for turbulence displace effect and simply double click to apply as you guys can see we will get this kind of weird looking text over here but size i'm going to choose two so as you guys can see we will get a little bit of displacement in small small displacement in this stuff over here like this and alt click on this evolution tab also and type time uh, into 500 over here also okay so we will get that uh, thing over here also right click new and create another adjustment layer and apply posterize time effect and double click to apply over here uh, it's totally up to you if you want to give this animation proper 2d look so you can choose 14 frames so it will look like a cartoonic animation and if you want to make it more smoother so you can choose 60 frames also so it will look a little bit smoother so yep this is how you can create this kind of dynamic text animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned